So here we have yeses close to the edge. And if you hear that rumbling, that's the neighbors running their boat for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know a lake around here that's even close. So here we have close to the edge by yes. There's not much I can say about the sound that hasn't already been said. It's a masterpiece. And um, yeah, I've got a bunch of other progressive rock albums. I see Fragile over there. There's Alan Parsons' I, Robot. Mike Oldfield. Oh, I love Mike Oldfield. Anyways, I digress. We'll get to those um eventually. So we have John Anderson on vocals. That man has the weirdest accent I have ever heard. It's like Scottish, Irish, English, and French or something ridiculous. Bill Bruford, also of King Crimson. I probably like King Crimson more than Yes. But um, this song is amazing. Steve Howe, guitar, great guitarist. Chris Squire, bass. The bass, especially on... um, uh, I guess especially on... um. The title track, it's loud, which is kind of what he did. It was very loud bass. And Rick Wakeman keyboard. I would argue there is not a better keyboardist in, well, mm, who is it? It's, um, I'm probably getting this wrong. I've got an Emerson Lake of Palmer I'm sitting over there. I think it's Keith Emerson. Keith, Keith Emerson, the keyboardist. He's probably the best. Rick Wakeman's close, and so is Rick Wright of Pink Floyd. But anyways, let's open it up because the gatefold is beautiful. So simplistic, the album cover. But once you open up the gatefold, you're like, bam. This is a first pressing, by the way. I bought this off of eBay, which um, it's a lot cheaper than a record store, and the records are usually in nicer condition. So um, while I definitely, however, you are buying from a local business, and um, I, I highly recommend buying from a local business just you know help support them side one close to the edge second favorite song on the album my first being and you and i and siberian kachu poor siberian kachu it's the shortest song on the album and it's the least it's it's the worst i mean it's still an amazing song if that was yes's best song um everyone would be happy with that but it is not it is the worst one on this album, despite being a great song. This isn't even my favorite Yes album. This is like my second favorite Yes album. My favorite Yes album, um, which I have already done an unboxing for, is um, Tales from Topographic Oceans. If you're like, oh man, Tales, sit down with headphones and just listen to the whole thing. It's amazing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe and have a good rest of your day.